New Peugeot 3008 2016 review. Does the all new Peugeot 3008 crossover make as much sense in the UK? Verdict. 4 star. In the transition from MPV to SUV, the 3008 has doubled its desirability while losing little in the way of practicality or versatility. It's beautifully built, with a stylish, innovative, and intuitive dashboard design yet on the road it feels solid, supple and refined. With a more modest diesel engine, we predict it could get a 5-star rating. Peugeot has surpassed many of its mainstream rivals with its first attempt at a midsize SUV. It's easy to lose track each time a new SUV hits the market. Nearly every maker now has some sort of 4x4 or crossover in its range, all following the same formula of a raised ride height and bulky bodywork. But the Peugeot 3008 is different. Back in 2009 the car was more 5-seat MPV than full-on SUV. Crossovers were still in their infancy, and the Nissan Qashqai had only just arrived, with models like the Seat Ateca and Renault Kadjar a distant dream. Nearly eight years later, the 3008 has been totally reinvented. So much so that Peugeot is referring to the new car as the 3008 SUV, in an attempt to distance it from the original model. We've now got the car in the UK to see if it can offer style and substance in equal measure. It certainly looks different. Peugeot design chief Jill Vital started from scratch with the new car and it's the same inside, where a concerted effort has been made to ensure the 3008 is simple to use and stylish. The new car debuts Peugeot's second generation i-cockpit dashboard. It uses the familiar small steering wheel, which the driver looks over rather than through to view the dials. It's supposed to improve safety by placing them in your line of sight, and is a big step on from the setup in the 308. The standard digital screen is customizable, too, and can show everything from speed and sat NAV to media and trip information. The infotainment system has been heavily revised, and the fiddly 308 source touch screen is accompanied by a row of piano-style buttons, allowing easier access to the climate controls and phone menu. The screen is more responsive, with high-quality graphics and mirror link and Apple CarPlay as standard. Elsewhere, quality is excellent. It makes the well-built Ateca look plain, while a cash K feels cheap in comparison. The mix of materials contrasts nicely, with soft plastics on top of the dash and glossy metals and fabrics lower down. Practicality is good, with plenty of space in the back for adults to sit three abreast. The 3008 is longer than a cash K and offers loads of legroom, while the 520-liter boot eclipses the Nissan's 430-liter load bay. But while style and practicality are key for many buyers, how the car drives is equally important. The good news is that few will feel shortchanged. Even those who've driven the new Ateca, which lays claims as the dynamic class benchmark, will find the 3008 a fun and capable family car. While the petrol engine sampled here won't be the most popular choice, it offered a good idea of how the rest of the range will perform on UK roads. Aside from being left-hand drive, this 3008 is exactly the same as the cars that will arrive in showrooms next month. It's agile around town, with the dinky steering wheel and tight turning circle making it easy to maneuver. The small rear window makes reversing a bit tricky, but only the entry active model doesn't have a reversing camera, so few buyers should find this a problem. The ride impressed, too. It softens speed bumps well, yet never feels loose or ungainly the faster you go. Out on the open road the 3008 will cruise quietly at 70 miles per hour, and in this powerful petrol model at least has no trouble keeping up with faster traffic. This version doesn't have much torque, however, and we expect the more modest diesel to be better. Our car came with a sport button on the center console, which tightened the steering and adjusted the gear ratios. It actually made the 3008 feel rather playful, showing a willingness to change direction that is missing on many rivals. There's a decent amount of feel to the steering, and not much body roll to speak of. 
we think it offers a better compromise between write and handling than an Ateca. The Peugeot's biggest downfall is its starting price. At £21,795 for an entry-level 1.2 active, the 3008 is almost £4,000 more than the seat, which costs from £17,995. There's no basic access model, but that allows Peugeot to offer kit like the digital i-cockpit dials across the range. In fact, this allure sits on PAR with an Ateca excellence. PCP deals haven't been announced, but residual values are expected to be good and offers like Peugeot's Just Add Fuel should keep ownership costs low. A 5-star Euro NCAP rating is the icing on the cake. Key Specs Model Peugeot 3008 1.6 THP 165 EAT6 Allure Price, £26,395 Engine, 1.6 liter 4 CYL petrol Power slash torque, 163 BHP slash 240 Nm Transmission, 6 speed automatic, front wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 8.9 seconds. Top speed, 128 miles per hour. Economy slash CO2, 48.7 mpg slash 129g slash km. On sale, December.